What if the vehicle that promises to reduce carbon footprints is also a harbinger of economic turmoil and surveillance? You see, in recent years, China's electric vehicle market has surged, capturing global attention with its rapid growth and innovative technologies. However, beneath this veneer of success lies a complex web of economic, ethical and security concerns. Over time, the unsettling aspects of China's EV industry and its implications for the U.S. market. Let's dive straight into the issues that are often overlooked but are crucial for understanding the full picture. Welcome to the dark side of China's electric vehicle market. Number 1. The Bankruptcy of Chinese EV Manufacturers The Chinese EV market might appear thriving, but a significant number of its manufacturers are on the brink of collapse. Despite the government's substantial subsidies and incentives, many companies have failed to maintain financial stability. This instability is largely due to overproduction, lack of competitive advantage, and inadequate management practices. High-profile bankruptcies like that of Byton and Singulato serve as stark reminders of the fragility within the industry. These bankruptcies not only affect the domestic market, but also pose risks to international investors and partners. The collapse of these companies can lead to massive financial losses and disrupt the global supply chain, impacting the broader EV ecosystem. Number 2. Government Subsidies – The Double-Edged Sword Chinese government subsidies have played a pivotal role in propelling the EV market. The Chinese government has poured billions of subsidies, grants, and tax incentives to support the EV industry. These financial supports have accelerated growth and helped China become a global leader in EV production. However, these subsidies often come with strings attached, leading to unintended consequences. While they have spurred growth, they have also fostered dependency and inefficiency. Many companies rely heavily on these financial aids to stay afloat, leading to a lack of innovation and genuine competitive spirit. The rush to secure subsidies has led some companies to prioritize meeting government criteria over consumer demands, resulting in the production of vehicles that do not meet market needs. Moreover, the subsidy policy has resulted in market distortions. Companies often prioritize meeting subsidy criteria over actual consumer demand, leading to an oversupply of EVs that fail to attract buyers. This artificial market boom is unsustainable and could lead to a severe market correction, affecting both Chinese and global markets. Number 3. Data theft and privacy concerns One of the most alarming issues is the potential for data theft. Chinese EVs are equipped with sophisticated data collection systems that can gather extensive information about users. These systems can track driving habits, location data, and even personal information stored within the vehicle's infotainment system. There are growing concerns that this data could be accessed and exploited by the Chinese government. The potential for surveillance and data manipulation poses significant privacy risks for consumers, especially in the U.S. market. With the increasing integration of Internet of Things technologies in vehicles, the risk of hacking and data breaches also escalates. The integration of these vehicles into the U.S. could inadvertently open a new front for espionage, where personal and potentially sensitive information could be harvested and used for purposes beyond the consumer's control. This aspect of the EV market raises critical questions about cybersecurity and national security. Number 4. Environmental and Ethical Dilemmas While EVs are often touted as environmentally friendly, the reality of their production in China tells a different story. The mining and processing of rare earth materials necessary for EV batteries have significant environmental impacts. Mining for lithium, cobalt, and other essential materials involves processes that can cause severe environmental degradation, including water pollution, habitat destruction, and significant carbon emissions. Additionally, reports have surfaced about the use of forced labor in these supply chains, particularly involving Uyghur labor in Xinjiang. The human rights abuses linked to the production of EV batteries cast a dark shadow on the industry. Consumers who believe they are making an environmentally and ethically sound choice by purchasing an EV may inadvertently be supporting these practices. These ethical and environmental issues cast a shadow over the purported benefits of Chinese EVs. Consumers and policymakers need to weigh these factors carefully when considering the adoption and support of these vehicles. The true cost of these green cars extends far beyond their purchase price. Number 5. Economic Threat to the U.S. Auto Market The rapid expansion of Chinese EV manufacturers poses a substantial economic threat to the U.S. auto industry. 
By flooding the market with cheaper, government-subsidized vehicles, Chinese companies can undermine American manufacturers. This aggressive pricing strategy is possible due to the significant financial support from the Chinese government, which American companies cannot easily match. This could lead to job losses, plant closures, and a significant downturn in the U.S. auto sector. The influx of low-cost Chinese EVs may drive down prices, making it difficult for American manufacturers to compete. Furthermore, the trade imbalance exacerbated by the influx of Chinese EVs could weaken the U.S. economy. The loss of jobs in the auto sector could have a ripple effect, impacting suppliers, local economies, and related industries. Policymakers must consider protective measures to ensure that domestic industries are not unfairly disadvantaged and that economic sovereignty is maintained. Strategies might include tariffs, quotas, or incentives for domestic production to level the playing field and protect American jobs. Number 6. Technological Dominance and Intellectual Property Theft China's aggressive pursuit of technological dominance in the EV market has often involved questionable practices, including intellectual property theft. U.S. companies have reported numerous instances of their technologies being copied or stolen by Chinese counterparts. This theft occurs through various means, including cyber espionage, forced technology transfer agreements, and reverse engineering. This not only hampers innovation, but also poses a significant threat to the competitive edge of American firms. When companies invest heavily in research and development, only to have their innovation stolen, it discourages further investment and stifles progress. The loss of intellectual property can also lead to significant financial losses and damage to brand reputation. Ensuring robust intellectual property protections and enforcing strict penalties for violations is crucial to safeguarding the interests of U.S. companies and maintaining a level playing field in the global market. International cooperation and stronger trade agreements can help address these issues and protect intellectual property rights. Number 7. Market Saturation and Quality Control Issues The rapid proliferation of EV manufacturers in China has led to market saturation and varying levels of quality control. While some companies produce high-quality, reliable vehicles, others cut corners to reduce costs. This inconsistency can lead to safety concerns and diminish consumer trust in Chinese EVs. For the U.S. market, importing vehicles with uncertain quality standards could pose risks to consumers and damage the reputation of the EV industry as a whole. Vehicles with poor quality control can experience frequent breakdowns, safety issues, and reduced lifespan, leading to increased costs for repairs and maintenance. Rigorous testing and certification processes must be in place to ensure that only safe and reliable vehicles are allowed on the roads. Standards for safety, performance, and emissions should be strictly enforced to protect consumers and maintain industry credibility. By implementing stringent quality control measures, the U.S. can safeguard its market and ensure that consumers receive reliable and safe vehicles. As we navigate the exciting yet complex world of electric vehicles, it's crucial to look beyond the surface and understand the full implications of our choices. The dark side of China's EV market reveals significant economic, ethical, and security concerns that cannot be ignored. By staying informed and demanding transparency and accountability, we can make better decisions for our future. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more insightful content, and we'll see you next time.